Hello everyone and welcome back to Art History Shorts. So for the next few videos, I had the intention of talking about Impressionism and the artists that worked within that style. Um, but I realized that when talking about art movements, it can be kind of difficult to get an idea of how they started without first talking about the ones that came um, previous to it. Um, because often these art movements, they, um, they evolve as a reaction to the one that was before it. Uh, so in the roots of Impressionism, they are tied to the period of realism and to the invention of photography. So I wanted to take some time to talk about uh, those two things before we tackled Impressionism. So realism, in terms of art, was about the unembellished depiction of nature and contemporary life. The artists who followed it rejected the idealized imagination. They didn't depict their subjects with idealized beauty um, as more perfect than what was found in reality. So they replaced these idealized subjects and forms with everyday people doing everyday things. Instead of depicting the grandest moments in history, they wanted to show what life was like for the majority of people and not just the wealthy few. This was revolutionary for the time and redefined the art world. It placed all people on equal footing. At the time of realism, the highest form of art in France for nearly two centuries was history painting. These were large scale depictions of a narrative drawn from classical mythology or from the Bible um, or literature or from a historical event of human achievement. History paintings, uh, they harmonize perfectly with the neoclassicism style. Uh, the Oath of Haredi, um, seen here by David, it's a paragon of this style. Uh, the message of country over family, honor and virtue, uh, it's a depiction of a Roman narrative. The figures are all idealized and done in classic Roman style. Their forms are contrived to better tell the narrative. You can see like no one would really stand like that or so stiffly. Um, the Romanticism movement developed from this, wanting to inject more emotion and movement into the scenes, but they were still clinging to these same kinds of storylines. Um, as an example, we can see here Delacroix's um, Liberty Leading the People. Um, it's a contemporary narrative um, that de depicts an emotionally charged scene, but it is still depicting a grand and idealized subject. So it's not until realism that artists start depicting everyday life and people on the same scale as the aristocracy, uh, so with the, and the beautiful and the grand. So in depicting these new subjects in the same style of neoclassicism and romanticism, the artists following this trend of depicting what was real, uh, what was real, felt all were worthy of lasting a lifetime on canvas. So in contrast to the Oath of Haredi and uh, Liberty Leading the People, we see the stonebreakers or the gleaners, images of laborers and the poor. Along with these scenes of working class life, we see scenes from a product of industrialization, life in the city, uh, on the streets, and in the cafes and popular entertainments. Artists started depicting the nude figure in a more open and frank way. Uh, this was all about painting from direct ob observation in the modern world. These artists were essentially asking, what constitutes art? A question that I think uh, artists are still asking today. Artists, of course, have taken the, the approach of depicting art in a realistic way before the mid-1800s. But in mid-19th century France, it became a conscious movement, a reaction to their time. During this time, we see the invention of photography and the rise of journalism. Both are act accurately depicting the world. They were influenced by scientific discovery, the age of enlightenment, industrialization, and shifting governments. Philosophy and literature written at this time also influenced them. But the reception that the artwork received created by these artists was not exactly a welcoming one. Uh, they were criticized. In some cases, they were rejected from the government exhibition and salons. Uh, they were creating art that many people, especially the people who would go see these exhibitions, did not want to see. Facts of life that they didn't feel um, comfortable being confronted with. So in my next few videos coming up, I want to go into a bit more detail about how the artwork was received and by talking about a few of the artists and their work from this movement. So until next time everyone, thank you for watching.